When it comes to installing Windows 11 on a 32-bit version of Windows 10, it's generally not possible to upgrade it as an in-place upgrade, and here's why. Every PC that we see, or even the ones we own, they do have a 64-bit processor, and if Windows 10 has a 64-bit architecture, then it's going to be possible to upgrade, but if it's a 32-bit, it's not. And you might be thinking, why is the architecture is so important for Windows 11 to run on? Because even though it's a 64-bit architecture, it means that it's going to do more things, handling more tasks and stuff like that. But if you are going to install Windows 11, you are going to likely to do a fresh clean install, and that means you need to back up your data so you can restore it back when you've fully installed Windows 11. You could either create a beautiful installation media for your USB using the media creation tool, or you can install an ISO file and you can flash it to a USB using Rufus. And once that's done, you're gonna go into your BIOS where you're gonna configure your drive to get into the installation media. During the installation setup, it's gonna ask you for a language followed by the region. It's gonna ask you what you wanna do. In this case, it's installing Windows 11. Also check this box before you actually install Windows 11. Then it's gonna take you to the product key section unless you have one that is associated to your microsoft account or it might be associated to your pc's hardware because of that oem thing it's going to ask you what edition of windows you want to install accept the terms and conditions now it's going to ask you which driver you want to install windows on but since it's a fresh install it wants you to format it or do a full format and that's why either using the command prompt or you can just do it directly on here as well i'm not sure if it's a full or quick erase let me know in the comments which one it is guys after that your pc is going to install windows 11 then you have to go through the entire process of setting up windows and that's it you got windows 11 running but that does mean that you have to go through updating your drivers and patches and even reinstalling the apps that you already have but then you also need to sign into your microsoft account unless a product key is associated to your account so you can activate windows but other than that guys you have now got a fully functioning windows 11 on your pc